So apparently, according to the TIAA Institute, women are less financially literate than men. Well, I don't know about you, Tia, but I think your stats are a little messed up. That's why today I'm gonna prove them wrong by doing my own study. Which word is not a finance term? Liquidity, spread, fusion, or amortization? Amortization? Oh, no. Now this is how it's gonna work. I have seven questions that'll test your financial literacy and I'm gonna ask the same number of men and women the same exact questions. And before we move on, I just wanna point out how legit my study is. I've been able to gather an extensive sample size of 10 people. Which word is not a finance term? Liquidity, spread, fusion, or amortization? Fusion. Dang, dude, you got it. Uh, I'll go with fusion. That's correct. I'm more mm -hmm. That is a finance word. It's a finance word. That was right, a finance right, word. Right. <laughs> Fusion. Fusion. You're right. I'll say amortization. Oh, no, that actually one surprisingly is, it was fusion. Well, are we talking about the amortization of like a period of loan, like to like allow someone to get back? Yep, yeah, yeah, okay. yep, yep, that's so finance. Fusion. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with fusion. That's correct. Um, fusion. Name another type of investment outside of a stock. Investing in land. Land, yeah. Pass. Real estate. Um, like an IRA. Yeah. Cryptocurrency, a bond. Okay, all of those, yeah. Government bonds. An IRA. When you put your money in an IRA, mm -hmm. what can you invest it into? A retirement. Or that's 401k, I guess. Yeah. Those are places to put your money yeah. to invest, but what oh. can you invest in? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I'm stupid. Um, they just <laughs> let me in. Real estate. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, bond. Boom. Okay, there we go. go. I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, crypto. That's very true. What does APR stand for? I don't know what it means. Uh, annual something rate. Annual percentage rate. Okay. Oh my gosh, I should know what a freaking <laughs> APR stands for. Something something rate. Um, Appreciation percent. I don't know. I'm not sure. Annual prioritized return. <laughs> annual something rate. Annual personal revenue. Annual percentage rate. Oh, yeah. All right, so these first few questions were only worth one point, but now we're gonna step up the difficulty and these next questions will be worth two points. But don't worry, there's no math yet. And stick around till the end where I'm gonna ask a question worth three points. You have $100 in a savings account earning 2% interest a year. After five years, how much would you have? Less than 102, exactly 102, or more than 102? It should be more than 102. More than 102. More than 102. Compound interest? Yes. All right, okay. so I think it will be a little more. More than 102? That's correct. You have more than 102, wouldn't you? More than 102. Boom. Less than 102. Wrong, wrong. More than 102. Is it compounding interest? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so more than 102. True or false, buying a single company stock is usually less risky than buying a stock mutual fund. Buying a single company stock is less risky. False. Mutual funds are better. Yes. False. False. Correct. False. Correct. True. False. False, 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 yeah. False. It's way more risky. False. Correct. False. A CPA primarily helps you in what aspect of your finances? Accounting. Accounting. Retirement? No. Accounting? Yes. Yeah. Accounting? Solid. Accounting. Accounting. I don't know what CPA is. So they help with your taxes. 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 Yes, sir. Which type of debt can you still owe money on even after declaring bankruptcy? Credit card debt, mortgage loans, or student loans? Student? That's correct. Awesome. Student loans. I feel like that would be student loans. Yeah, you got it. Credit card? Credit card debt? Student loan. I've never had student loans. Uh, student loans? <laughs> I will say student loans. Yeah, dude. I'll say student loans. I would have to say student loans. Student loans? Yeah. Let's go! There we go. Bonus question, do you have a credit card? I do have a credit card. Yes. I do? Yeah. No. No. I do. Well, I have a couple. Do you know the interest rate on your credit card? No. One of them's 24.99, which is why I will never miss a pay in full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 1.5 maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's 22. Like 21.99%. Damn, that's, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yay. Hey, Here we go. I'll take it. Six bucks. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Let's go. From my fanny pack. Boom. Five for not having a credit card. All right, guys, my fanny pack's empty, but turns out after an extensive study, women are in fact more financially literate than men. You can cite this video as a source. Until next time, watch this other video where I talk to people about their student loan debt. I think you'll find it pretty interesting. Peace.